Star Ibrahim has now emerged the new chairman of the Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria. This is part of the outcome of the 18th Annual General Meeting and 72nd General Assembly holding in Lagos. The federal government and all key players in the broadcast industry in Nigeria are also admonished to ensure that the switch over from analog to digital television transmission is achieved in earnest. Ola Wakon reports. This is a convergence of managers and owners of broadcast media houses in Nigeria, regulatory bodies and government officials. They are to meet minds on issues pertaining digitization of the television business in the country. The theme is Nigeria Digital Transition, a panacea for economic growth. They host emphasize the urgent need for digital switchover to be actualized. With DTT comes a whole new world of great opportunity. Improved picture and sound quality, HD broadcasting, the ability to launch new channels to the consumer, overnight ratings data, and so much more. Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwulu, who was represented by Secretary to the State Government, harped on the role of digitization in achieving good governance. The world is in a digital era, and the prevailing technological changes have a huge impact on all media forms. Nigeria cannot afford to be a spectator in the global digital transition. Digital Terrestrial Television, DTT, is seen as a concept that will create employment opportunity for people in the creative industry if the right political will, appropriate funding, conducive environment and other factors are put in place. Welcome. Political will can, however, only be achieved if the National Broadcasting Commission now takes the bull by the horn by finalizing and publishing a national coverage plan and a timetable for the digital switchover. While enjoining the federal government of Nigeria to release the needed funding for the digital switchover, it is very pertinent at this time to draw the attention of the regulator, particularly NBC, that the delay in bringing out a firm roadmap and releasing a firm timetable for the analog switch off of states already switch on and those that are to be switched on is something that is very critical. The actualization of the digitization plan is expected to benefit the over 50 million TV households in the country. Since the pilot launch in 2016, we have sustained uninterrupted DTT services in the six locations launched, namely Abuja, Jos, Ilori, Enugu, Kaduna, and Oshobo era of you paying to get your content aired is over. It is time for you to be paid for your creativity. I have started putting the task team of industry experts together to get this done. Also, I can announce here that the new broadcasting code will be your code. It is being put together to protect Nigerian creativity and local production. There was a tour of the state of art media facility of TVC Communications. Nigeria has missed the deadline to switch over from analog to digital television transmission three times, 2012, 2015 and 2017. But given the zeal at this conference, it is likely that there won't be a fourth time. Ola Awakon. TVC News, Lagos.